Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to talk to you about positive buoyancy and how it's influenced by a liquid surface tension and its density. Remember, positive buoyancy is just an object's ability to float. Density is an object's mass divided by its volume. So we would say that this styrofoam ball has very little density and therefore it can float because it's less dense than the water. In the same sense, we would say this ping pong ball is less dense than the water, therefore it floats. On the other hand, we might surmise that this screw has a greater density than the water, therefore it has negative buoyancy, it sinks. Positive buoyancy is not only influenced by an object's density, surface tension affects positive buoyancy too. And this can be demonstrated with just a paper clip. I know a paper clip is more dense than the styrofoam ball because I've got one that sank. I can see it down here at the bottom of my beaker. But surface tension is caused by the covalent bonds of water. Water has a tendency to stick to itself. If you watch water droplets strip down your windshield during a rainstorm, those droplets cling together because of covalent bonds. If you hold a paper clip sideways though, and you put it very slowly on the surface of the water so you don't break the tension, that paper clip can float. It can have positive buoyancy even though another paper clip that broke the surface tension sank to the bottom of the beaker. This is why surface tension plays an important role in positive buoyancy. So remember, when we're talking about surface tension, we're talking about those cohesive forces that draws a liquid together. That cohesive force is made by the covalent bonds of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen wants to bond with oxygen, and by sharing electrons, it creates this cohesive force between those molecules that makes the surface of the water strong enough to float a paperclip. Remember that that's different than density. Density is an object's mass divided by its volume. As in the case of the ping pong ball and the styrofoam, it had less density than the liquid that it was floating on. That's how density and surface tension can affect positive buoyancy.